What's going on, YouTubers? Um, just going over here with the box. Um, just tidying up a little certain stuff and getting things hooked up. Um, power ran just to making sure that um, before I go ahead and tape everything up that uh, I got fire and it's at least trying to crank and stuff like that. Um, so you don't just want to be cutting out the wires and stuff like that. And uh, then you got to go mess around and get another harness. Uh, this is the wires that came out the factory harness. Um, as you can see, here's the bulkhead wire for the Yukon right there. Uh, here's that uh, purge valve um, line that I deleted that sat right on top of the motor here. So we're getting that little thing up out of there. Um, but pretty much. Go ahead, babe, crank it up. There we go. So as y'all see, um, I got cranked. I have fire. Um, so um, pretty much now I'm just waiting on my fuel to go ahead and start that. Um, so I'll be working from right there, getting those off and running my lines. Um, I'm going to do a video on that too, on the lines for the um, fuel and running that. It's pretty much simple. Um, it ain't too much of hard, um, so basically I'm one step closer to cranking and driving my car again. Um, so I basically, again, all I have is literally little to nothing into this swap, and you know, you know, people's I've seen a lot on YouTube are sitting down telling you to grab all these things where you don't have to grab all these things. Um, it it, it kind of felt like I just swapped the 350 in my motor, I mean, in my car. Um, that's how simple it was um so i've got power to my fuse box um a9 is what you're going to send your your power to i thought i can use this uh dis distributor wire but it's obviously uh not sending any power to it or anything I, i'm not sure so i'm gonna double check on this wire um that's coming in from my bulkhead um but other than that from the bulkhead you got two red wires that you're hooking up and then your purple wire. The, pur the small purple wire goes to the small bolt on the starter. And that's it basically on your bulkhead that you're messing with. You got your temperature uh, wire. Um, and there might be one more wire that uh, you are messing with. But the three main, them are three main wires for the bulkhead. Uh, so let's get that confusion out the way. Um, but other than that, y'all, y'all see it. It's in there. I really ain't really got that much memory on this phone. So, um, but just showing y'all that it is simple uh, for the factory. You ain't got to go get no uh, standalone harness wire, none of that. No, you do not. Um, it looks like a mess, but if you're going over the wiring yourself, it ain't going to be confusing. Um, so, pretty much, y'all see it. And that's the factory. I'm doing everything factory. For my computer, I'm getting power. So, y'all know I'm on it path of doing something right um too much don't don't if you're gonna swap uh and you're looking at videos you know a lot of people can confuse you so pick videos that you're going to use for your swap and go from there just following behind too many people can get confusing um you know for this build i follow behind a g-body build um and he he, I don't know, it just was able for me to understand it. And also followed behind a um, Firebird build. And uh, it, I just was able to understand it and just go get my motor and put it in. So um, just remember that, that you can't just follow every build because it will get confusing. But for the most part, I am very happy. I got my motor in there. Um, I got fire. She's going to crank. Crank it on one more time, baby. Y'all see it? She ready? I'll see y'all in a minute. 